I'm Phil Bridges, owner of Straight Arrow Repair. Ever want to know how a repairman fixes things? Well, come with me and I'll show you how I solve problems. Let's make things better together. By the way, we determined that it was either squirrel or chipmunk because there was a whole lot of acorns and walnuts and all those kind of things in this bathroom area. So it wasn't a rat or a mouse. It was something that climbing trees and, and likes nuts. And hibernates. So uh, next we're going to just try to get the floor out. They have run uh, like a paneling over the floors, an overlayment that they sell at Lowe's and Home Depot. And it's probably fastened with screws and then this is glued down tile, it's peel and stick. So what I'm probably going to do is uh, get a saw and cut, which I know one stud is right, uh, one stud goes here and one's over here. So I cut in the middle on both sides of that and I should be able to rock it back and forth and get it out. But we'll see. Okay. Okay, so what I've done is knowing the floor joist is here and here because that's where it's highest uh, and the floor sagged where it got wet. I cut right here on this side of the floor joist and there, knowing that that floor generally is held on by <coughs> a little bit of glues and staples. And this has got a whole bunch of nails for the overlayment paneling holding it down and it'll take me a while but let's see if I can influence this stuff to come up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step on one side and then on the other rock it back and forth where that staples will start coming loose and the glue and see if I can get it to cooperate. It's like I need to pull the staples on the vent so I don't have to redo that. So I'll take a break and do that and I'll lift this stuff out. This coming loose. All right, Clay, let's get that vent out. Looks like it's leaked multiple times. Doesn't look like it leaked around the toilet. Like the tub overflowed. Right with the sink too. <coughs> Stains on the on the back of the particle board. You kind of see it spilled here and went down through there. So they overflowed the tub. <laughs> Wow, 
we're making distance. Give me the whole time out of your way. Again. All right, I'll, I will give you a little cheat sheet kind of thing that I do. Um, I know for about uh, 30, 34 inches or so from the outside wall, which would be about 30 inches from the inside wall, there's a frame that runs all the way length of the house. And where those two halves meet, it's the same thing. Basically, it's a little less than eight feet across most of the time. Now, in this case, the two by four or two by six was on sort of a two foot center, it's 22 inches, 23. It's way under there to the other side of the room that uh, it would be very difficult. I could cut a little slit in the floor, you know, so I can get my head up in there, go underneath, and, and fasten. Uh, on both sides, run a board all the way across and then run over to the other one, then fasten it, toe nail it. Uh, but what I've learned is that a 2 before 4 lay down and a 2 before 4 standing up is the same distance as a 2 by 6 So if you can get on top of the frame, either standing up a board on top on edgeways and then laying it down like this, you still are going to be the same height and you won't have to go all the way to the other one. Now I've got it fastened in here too. And then I've, over there, this is notched an inch and a half, uh, so that it comes over here, and then an inch and a half down, inch and five eighths down, and then screwed here. On that end, I've just got a board laying on top of the beam, and then this board is running long ways on top of it. So we have the same height all the way across. If you notice, I don't even have any screws on that, but I will put a board over there against the wall. But uh, just a trick you can do, you can lay one down, lay one two by four down, and one two by four standing up. It's the same as a two by six. So uh, that's what we've done so far. We've also put a two by four on this side, so we'll get to the bottom of it. And uh, now we're gonna put a board along the edge where we're going to put the first piece of plywood and the uh, first one's going to be a tough one because it's got a lot of cuts. It's got the vent, the drain, and both supplies in it. Um, and we're going to go across the floor so we can get our most strength. So this is what we're doing. We're going to run uh, wherever the board is cut, that's where we're going to put a 2 by 4 so that it won't move. One side or the other won't move. We'll screw it down 
and they'll both be the same height because they're screwed into the 2x4. And that's what we're doing. It's Phil Bridges. If you like what you saw, you think it might be helpful to somebody else, push that like button and let other people know what you and I now know. And we'll work together toward making a brighter future. And by the way, we're not Americans, we're Americans. See you next time.